What's up guys, it's your boy Light here, and today we're going to be talking about probably one of the most mysterious and powerful characters in the Pokemon anime, and that character is Tobias. Now, to understand why Tobias is such a mysterious and powerful character, it all comes down to the, his whole backstory, and that is that not much is known about him except for the fact that he uses a Darkrai, and in the Sinnoh region he won every single gym battle with only his Darkrai, and in the Sinnoh League, up until he battled Ash, the main character, he again won every single battle using only his Darkrai. Now, seeing a trainer in the Pokemon anime use a legendary or mythical Pokemon in and of itself is very rare, but when Tobias ends up battling Ash, Ash becomes the only trainer to ever have defeated his Darkrai. And what is Tobias' second Pokemon? It's none other than Latios, another legendary Pokemon. So not only does this guy have one, he has another legendary Pokemon being Latios. And so, again, I have to repeat this. Anywhere else in the Pokemon anime, you never see a trainer who has captured a legendary Pokemon. Sure, there's trainers like Battle Frontier Brains, like the one that had the Articuno. But again, he never caught that Articuno. He basically befriended it and he even said in the episode that he didn't catch it in a pokeball but no tobias has caught both of these legendaries in a pokeball and we don't even know what other pokemon he has that's why he's so mysterious we only know two of his pokemon and other than that we don't know anything else about his story he's only introduced in the Sinnoh league arc and um after beating ash we are given a tease that oh he will challenge the Sinnoh league as in like the elite four and the champion cynthia but um, nothing ever comes of this. We don't ever see anything. And to this date, all these years later, we've never seen an appearance from Tobias. So in this video, I wanted to talk about why we probably never will see Tobias again. And I was kind of inspired to make this video because a lot of people think that because of the Pokemon World Championships, Tobias might return. Um, but on the contrary, I don't think that Tobias will return due to the reason that he was introduced. And obviously that was to make sure that Ash would not win the Sinnoh League. Now in the Sinnoh League, Ash had an amazingly powerful team. He had his Pikachu, he had his Infernape, he had his Torterra, he had his Buizel, he had his Gliscor, Star Raptor, Gibble. He had very powerful Pokemon with powerful moves. And at this point in the anime, obviously he hadn't won the league yet and the writers were still going along with the fact that they didn't want to make him win. So with him having such a powerful team, when he beats his rival Paul and advances to the semifinals, the writers needed a way to make sure that he wouldn't advance any further. And they really went the overkill route and introduced Tobias, a trainer who was able to wipe Ash with two mythical Pokemon. Now giving them credits, at least they allowed Ash to be the first trainer ever to defeat the Darkrai. And uh, obviously, we all know the way he did this. He weakened it with Heracross. Then he brought out his Gibble and Torkoal. And eventually, his Sceptile finishes off uh, Darkrai. Following that, uh, Tobias sends out Latios, who takes out Ash's Sceptile. He then tries to battle it with Swallow, who's easily taken out. And finally, Pikachu is able to have a draw with Latios. But at that point, all of Ash's Pokemon have fainted, so he loses the battle. And we only see Tobias's two Pokemon, which Ash is able to take out, which is very impressive, showing how powerful he is in this region. But again, it comes down to the main point that the only reason that Tobias was introduced was to beat Ash. And that's why I don't think we'll ever see him again, because... He's just too powerful of a trainer. No other trainer uses legendary or mythical Pokemon. If he's back in the Pokemon World Championships, it, with how powerful um, the writers make legendary Pokemon look, it wouldn't make sense that someone with a team of normal Pokemon would be able to beat him. And he doesn't serve any other story purposes. He was only introduced to defeat Ash. And another hint to this is later on when we see an exhibition match between a Unova Elite Four member and the Sinnoh League champion, when the Sinnoh League champion walks out, it's none other than Cynthia and not Tobias. And this is a long time after his victory at the Sinnoh League. So obviously, as it was implied, he challenged the Elite Four and champion, but since Cynthia is still champion, this shows you that either, you know, Cynthia is able to beat him because she's a very powerful trainer, but it also shows you that the writers have no intention of following Tobias in any other fashion because 
they've realized that they've written an all too powerful character that they can't really power scale to anyone else. And that's the main problem with Tobias. There's no other trainer even comparable to his power. So it doesn't make sense for them to bring him back in any fashion because it would just he would just be able to sweep everyone with his dark gray latios and whatever else he has up his sleeve, right? So that's the main reason that I don't think Tobias will ever return to the anime. And it's mainly because he was only introduced for that one purpose, to defeat Ash. And if he were brought in any other fashion, he's just too powerful. And yeah, so that's that's basically the main reasons. And I kind of just wanted to put that out there because people were speculating that he might return, but I just really don't think he will. Uh, so yeah, it's been your voice of Z-Light. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.